welcome to Life House Kids Online. We're about to worship, so let's stand up and stretch and get ready. Come on! read this week's Bible verse, Acts 10.35. He accepts anyone who worships him and does what is right. It is not important what nation they come from. Let's pray. Dear Jesus, I love you. I pray that our heart is open and you speak with us today. Pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Hello, Edie here. Do you have friends from other countries? It's fun to find out how people from other countries have different food and clothes and lifestyles. So today's story is about Peter, a Jewish man who goes to visit Cornelius, who wasn't a Jew. How did Peter respond when visiting a non-Jew? Well, let's find out in the movie from the Bible app for kids. Everybody's welcome. Cornelius was an officer in the Roman army. He lived in a place called Caesarea. 
He and his family respected God. They weren't Jewish, they were Gentiles. Cornelius had a vision. An angel told him, God hears your prayers and knows that you help the poor. Send men to Joppa to bring Peter here. So Cornelius did. In Joppa the next day, Peter was on the roof praying. In a vision, a huge sheet came from heaven. It was filled with animals. A voice said, Kill something, Peter. Eat. They were animals that Jews weren't allowed to eat. I can't eat them, Peter replied. If I say they're all right to eat, the voice replied, then they're all right. That's when Cornelius' messengers arrived. So Peter and some others went with them to Caesarea. Cornelius' house was filled with his friends and family, eager to hear Peter speak. God showed me, in a vision, that he accepts people from every nation. God sent Jesus to everyone. He is Lord of all. He healed the sick and freed the oppressed. He was crucified and then raised from the dead. Everyone who believes in him will be forgiven of their sins. The Holy Spirit came upon them, just like Pentecost. Peter baptized them. So back in those days, Jewish people weren't allowed to go to the homes of non-Jewish people or even become their friends. And Peter kept that rule because he was a good Jew. But like Cornelius, who was a Roman, there were many good non-Jewish people who loved God and did the right thing. So God showed Peter a vision to teach him that God doesn't just love Jewish people, but all people. And after that, Peter visited Cornelius and told him and all the people in his house about Jesus and they believed and were baptized. It's so good to know that Jesus loves all people, including you and I. God's love is huge and it is for everyone. So we too must love people, even those who are different. So let's pray together. Jesus, thank you that you love me so much. Would you help all of us to love people who are different to us? We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. So now let's talk with people at home. What can you do to accept people who are different from you? How about you? For today's activity, let's make a craft that represents how much God loves the world. First, draw the earth on a paper plate like this. Next, cut some coloured paper into the shape of two hands and write, God loves the world. Finally, attach them and glue them and just like this, ta-da! So let's remember that God loves the world and everyone in it. Right, so thanks so much. See you next week. Bye-bye. Hey, thank you for watching today. We hope that you enjoyed it. We've got some great content for you, so make sure you subscribe, you don't miss a thing. Every Sunday, we've got two great Zoom parties. One is English and one is bilingual. And you're invited, so check out the description for information below. We can't wait to meet you. Bye-bye.